Good morning, Bergdorf Goodman. Um, you might have seen myself or Zoe or Philip. We're still stuck here in New York City, so you guys are benefiting. We try and visit you and just keep the things looking fresh, especially since we just moved downstairs, but we'll get on to that a little bit later. Um, we just wanted to take a few short minutes of your time to kind of walk you through the first delivery, which has now been on the floor for about two and a half months. Uh, it's part of our resort or pre-spring collection. Um, I have a beautiful model, which some of you might remember. It's Zoe, our sales manager. So she's just going to try on some of your pieces, show you either ways that you've already thought of putting things together or new ways that we kind of thought of when we were playing with the collection. So in her first look, we do have a nice uh, wintry feel. So the way that we're um, using these looks right now is we're gonna kind of walk you through the heaviest to the lightest, things that will kind of make your customer wanna buy now, wear now. So Zoe is wearing probably the most iconic um, sweater of the moment. It is all over uh, Instagram, social media, you name it. Um, lots of artists and musicians have been wearing all different variations of this uh, striped mohair knit. You'll see it sometimes in the lilac with red. You guys have it in this beautiful mazarine blue with white. Even though I don't want you to get stuck up on mohair, mohair, this mohair, it is light as air. It is tightly woven, so you're not going to have these stray hairs kind of rolling around. We've just layered it over some of your cotton poplin pieces. Again, for pre-spring, it's very important to always have very lightweight fabrication. So this is our classic cotton poplin. Uh, what we've done in the top is we've given her an elasticated cuff at the three-quarter sleeve, and she does have the V-neck, and it allows the blouse to kind of sit back a little bit. So it's a little bit more of a relaxed look. And then in our classic kick flare trouser, in the viscose kiddy, um, really nice elasticated waist, so it's very good for either a more casual pant, a pant that you can wear when you're stuck at home, or a pant that you can just pull on and go when you're going outside. Uh, depending on the shoe and depending on what you're putting on the top, um, it really dresses this pant up. Um, and it's okay to kind of mix the viscose kiddy back with the cotton poplin. Marnie's always very good about making sure that the colorations in different solid fabrications lend themselves to each other. Um, Francesco, our creative director, does not think somebody should be all in the same fabric. Um, more about the fabrics, just kind of rewind when this collection was designed. Um, it was really happening, the height of the production or the creative process for this collection was happening during March and April, which was essentially when Milan and New York went into full-on lockdown modes. So Francesco was really trapped inside. Um, he was going through uh, feeling, I'm not able to go outside, I'm not able to see people or um, play with clothes and colors and in my uh, laboratory. So that's really like the tone of this entire collection. It's about being comfortable. It's about wearing things that you can wear inside if you're working from home or you're stuck inside with your family. And then those same things you can easily throw on when you go outside. Um, and they're very, what's important again, because we did all of this virtually with your buying team, with our customers, it was really about the color and the prints. So that's what you're going to see really coming through. And if you know Marnie and you've been selling Marnie and following Marnie for all of these years, the DNA, the founding blocks of our Maison are really prints, color, color blocking. And Zoe's next look. She has this beautiful matelassé jacquard. Um, if you can actually tell, the print in the matelassé is a lips print and it's turned on its side. So they're sideways kisses. Um, of course, you guys have seen and we had a beautiful window in your storefront on Fifth Avenue a couple of weeks ago and a barrage of mannequins down the central corridor celebrating Valentine's Day, which has just passed. 
Um, but the lips print was really Francesco giving kisses to all of his clients, near or far. So you have this elastic waist, straight cut pencil skirt, which you don't, uh, you can wear it back with the topper coat. You can wear it on its own. I really like how Zoe put it together with the same cotton poplin shirt that we already saw um, in the navy blue. You have the navy blue in store. You don't have this white one, or you might, I can't remember right now. Um, but feel free, again, you don't always need to be head to toe the same color. Um, throw the white in, throw the navy in. It was just an easy, you know, nice topper coat and pencil skirt. Really classic Bergdorf Goodman lady shopper um, who always kind of looked to Marnie in the past for these statement coats that were lightweight, that had a little bit of shine or pizzazz to it, um, which is another foundation of our collection, which is this Met Lassé Jacquard. Um, and the coat is super duper lightweight. Um, as is the skirt. And um, I'm just gonna also start now to talk about some special pieces which you will see in this collection. Uh, Zoe will be coming out in some of them, but they are, they have a special hang tag which is called From Marnie Made With Love Retrovolution. So Retrovolution is essentially that um, it's coming from the Marnie archive. So again, for lack of uh, time or romance, it was getting down to the wire. Everybody was in lockdown. The collection needed to be finished. Um, so what they did was they really wanted to give a little bit more to the clients and to the offering. And so uh, with time of the essence, they were able to go back into the archives. And we're talking about 15, 20 years ago. And Francesco selected about four or five silhouettes that came directly from our founder, Consuelo Castiglione's um, designs. And he took a skirt, a long sleeve dress, a couple of tops, and a pant, um, which is the pant that Zoe will be coming out in now. So this is what we have uh, known as our karate pant. Um, it is in cotton poplin, it has an elasticated waist, it has the drawstring in the nylon tape. And what you can see is it has, it's a full pant, but the front part just drapes right over. I can't tell you um, how many people have come into the boutique right now, because that's actually where we are broadcasting from. Um, and they're confused because when Zoe walks away, it's a pant but from the front, it looks like a skirt. Um, and then this is, obviously Marnie is super well known for its knits. This is our casual blend, super lightweight. It's like a tobacco color, but it has this beautiful pale pink ivory and actually super smoky navy blue. But again, you can't tell wearing it back with black. Um, and it's one of those knits that when you do wear it, uh, people almost instantaneously know that it is a Marnie knit. Uh, again, it's just about the placement of the taping on the edges, the colors that are chosen. So with the pale pink, the ivory, the navy, and the tobacco, it really lends itself to several different prints that we do have in the collection. So getting back to the manifesto, which you have, uh, Zoe will be coming out shortly in the side swag skirt. We call it the side swag because it gives a little bit of sass on one side. Asymmetrical. Uh, this is one of those core fabrications that you've known for a long time from Marnie in the viscose printed acetate crepe. So it has a little bit of like a grittier texture on the exterior and then it's a smoother texture against the skin. Um, it's one of those fabrics that is perfect for travel. Um, it, you can roll it up, you can fold it, you can crunch it, you can jam it, and it automatically, once it gets uh, steamed or you just hang it overnight, all of the wrinkles kind of disappear. In this same fabric, here you have the uh, Candela Novembre. So this is an iconic uh, shape from our collection. What we've done this season is inserted a couple of new details. We have created a little front slit so that when she does kick front, you see a little bit more leg. 
you have the matching in the back. It's also slightly shorter in the front, slightly longer in the back. And then we have this little inverted front pleat. Again, it's just an update to a classic. It kind of gives a new reason to buy and it allows your customer to kind of not say, I already have that in that material, not maybe not in that print. Um, and this was a print that is really, obviously it's an animal print, um, but it could be lips as well, you never know. Um, and you have red, you have pale pink, you have orange, you have ivory, lots of different colors in here, which again, make it a really great skirt or a dress to kind of pair back with something that your customer might already have. Uh, we like to pair that skirt with a beautiful pale pink Marnie Rose uh, mohair knit, which you do have um, on your rails on the third floor. And yes, the third floor. Marnie did move um, a couple of months back, back down to the third floor, which is kind of where Marnie started um, its history with Bergdorf Goodman. Um, we were doing just fine on the sixth floor in our shop and shop, uh, but we really do, the, the customer that is shopping us is shopping all of the brands that are basically on three with the exception of the row and maybe a couple of people with um, Kate or now Margella, but the sixth floor was changing and it felt a little bit more advanced and modern as opposed to Marnie, which it's not that we're not advanced or modern, but we are a little bit more classic um, and true designer. So this is that uh, Marnie logo. So you, it's very subtle, but it spells out Marnie in the stem of the rose. This is our, again, featherweight mohair with the buttons down the back. Um, a very easy thing for your customers that say, I don't want something that buttons down the back. All you have to do is encourage them to open the top two, get it on, and then almost anybody can reach the top two buttons on their back. This is that side swag skirt. Um, it fits her beautifully. It has such a nice drape to it. It's very easy to wear. Um, and we do love that it goes back with this. There's a couple of different options that you have on your rails um, that make sense back with that skirt. Uh, but again, we're working from our Soho uh, flagship store and although there is plenty of crossover between Bergdorf's assortment and Soho's assortment, there are a couple of things that obviously differentiate. Um, the Marnie core customer is super duper quirky that shops here out of our Soho store. Um, being that it is our flagship, it's our largest product array, which is why we decided to do it out of here. Um, since we're not allowed to do um, in-store presentations right now with you all. Um, so we're kind of just choosing from what they have here. We're doing the best that we can. Um, we're really focusing today on the pre-spring because you have been 99% shipped on pre-spring. We will be showing you a couple of runway items. Um, they have started to hit here at our Soho store. Um, and we'll talk to you a little bit about the idea behind the spring summer runway, which was a very emotional um, and personal uh, journey for Francesco. This is uh, another great print from us this season. So this is actually from the runway collection. Um, and Zoe really thought nicely about this, showing a knit that you already have from pre-spring it goes beautifully back with this skirt. So when Zoe gets a little bit closer in the skirt, you can see that it does have pops of yellow and a little bit of beige. Um, this sweater is a recycled cashmere, um, and it's really meant to be worn either with the tie in the front or the tie in the back. It just depends on if your customer wants to layer a top, uh, you know, a tank top underneath and have the open back. If she wants to just throw it over her shoulders and tie it. It's one of those statement pieces. I believe that the knit costs $5.90. Um, and the reason is it is 100% cashmere. However, it is recycled. So it has a little bit, not as uh, 
fluffy or puffy of a hand to it. It's got a little bit tighter knit, again, because it has been recycled and reprocessed and re-dyed and rewoven. It's, um, it's a sustainable initiative that has become very important for the customer of Marnie that is getting younger and younger and younger with each passing season. I think that uh, Francesco Risso, our creative director, he has a very uh, young spirit and a very fun uh, soul. And he's really started to connect with uh, this younger clientele, whether it's on the men's side or on the women's side. So it's important that we start to embrace things that are important to the younger consumer, which is sustainability. And as part of OTB, um, our parent company, uh, whether it's Diesel, whether it's Margella, whether it's Marnie, uh, whether it is partly Amiri, since we have a, a minor stake there, other brands will be joining OTB in the coming months. Um, there will be a major announcement. Um, but with the power of OTB behind us, it really helps fast forward us into exploring more of the sustainability initiatives that the fashion uh, arena is being asked to take more seriously. Here's the same knit that we just saw, but now Zoe has flipped it around and she's wearing it with her elastic waist uh, viscose skirt. So this, um, we love this skirt. It is a handkerchief, so lots of different lengths. Um, and again, when you have a pleated skirt, it is important for the majority of the fabric to not be um, cotton or silk. You need to have synthetic fibers. The synthetic fibers actually hold the pleats in the garments, even after dry cleaning. Um, if you don't have a majority of a synthetic fiber in a pleated material, even the best dry cleaner will have a very difficult time maintaining your pleats. So we're always asked when we show or sell or offer a pleated material of some sort, um, Marnie almost 99.9% .9 of the time always has the majority of the fabrication in a synthetic fabric. And we do, it's a super springtime look. I think actually that look is on one of the central corridor mannequins right now on the third floor. Um, and again, with that elastic waist, uh, it's almost like our customer's dream piece to pull on. She can sit at home in front of her laptop. Um, she can take it out for a spin. It's that beautiful uh, Kelly green. I know it's still feeling very wintry up here in New York, but a lot of these pieces lend themselves to a lot of your clientele that lives here during certain months or is already trying to escape the brutal month of February. Um, speaking of February, uh, happy belated Valentine's. Uh, again, this was one of those amazing pieces that was in the Fifth Avenue window. Um, this is our actual lips print. So again, Francesco and his design team put on lipstick and kissed a napkin in all different colors of red and hot pink and light pink and then they uh, made their print out of it. Those of you that know, uh, we create all of our prints in-house so that no other company will ever have the same prints as us. Uh, this is our three-quarter sleeve, little split keyhole neck. She does have it tied at the neck, um, so you can either wrap it and twist it in the back, you can tie it in the front, you can bow it, or you can just leave it hanging. It really just, it matters what your customer feels uh, most comfortable with. I know that sometimes bows are considered fussy, some clients aren't into them, um, but there's so many different ways when you just have two flat pieces of material. Again, my suggestion is wrap it like a turtleneck and then just tuck it in the back or you can tie it in a small bow. Um, and it really makes it look like she's wearing a very narrow uh, matching fabrication uh, scarf. Uh, that was a printed silk, so that has the lightest fabric. Um, it's next to cotton poplin. So the price point on a printed silk is obviously a little bit more than a printed cotton, um, but it is important for us to offer both a silk and a cotton um, in the same delivery. Some customers are more only cotton, some customers are, prefer the silk, 
Um, so it's really just about your client's preference. There was a back zip in that dress and it has an actual waist, um, which fit Zoe really nicely. This next item is another Retrovolution item. Um, so this was a, an iconic shape that Consuelo Castiglione designed years and years ago. Uh, basically, it has a drawstring waist. Uh, this is a cotton poplin, and this is our tiger lily print. Um, and for those of you that are paying super close attention, uh, there is the word Marnie, one little spot right here. But the beauty about this item, maybe just back up a little bit more, is you can wear it either the way that Zoe came out in it with the waist kind of tied and then create that nice waist and then blouse out your top. Or you can wear it after a leisurely lunch or more as like a caftan over a swimsuit, expand the waist, and then she's just wearing a really nice long um, cotton printed dress. So this is one of our core favorite items from this collection. You know, it's always a very Marnie item if you can wear it a couple of different ways. So we've all already seen that with the striped recycled cashmere that you can wear front to back, back to front. With this dress, you know, one piece, but you can either wear it as more of like a lady dress with the uh, drawstring pulled tight, uh, with a heel, with a cute little jacket, or you can wear it with flip-flops or platform crisscross sandals like Zoe was just wearing. Um, you could throw it over a swimsuit. So we do love these items that kind of lend themselves to um, multiple different ways of wearing things. And then another item which you already have in store, this is a core classic from us. So this is that viscose kitty. So this is that amazing fabric again that is a little gritty on the exterior and smooth next to the skin. Um, this is a core shape from us that we have every single season, wide short sleeve, ladder hem so slightly um, shorter in the front than in the back and my recommendation would be to kind of size down maybe to a 36 if your customer is a 38 or a 40. Um, it is more boxy and it is a little bit more um, less to the body but it's a classic iconic Marnie piece um, that I think I have it in three different colorways in my closet already. They come in cotton poplin, printed cotton poplin, um, and in the kitty crop like you have. And then in the Marnie Pop Garden Floral, so this is a newer silhouette from us. Um, she has a really nice open U neck, um, and it has this fixed waist, which is super complimentary. It hides if a customer is long-waisted, um, it actually disguises it because it's creating a waist for you. Nice back zip, fixed box pleats, um, and it's just a really nice, uh, fun dress that you can pull into your customer's wardrobe to kind of celebrate and commemorate uh, springtime. Um, so that is it for now. We will be back um, in a couple of weeks once we have a little bit more of runway delivery to share with you and we'll talk to you about Marnie Festo at that time. Good luck, Sally.